loves to dig in and understand everything that he's doing, all the way back to its origins. Whatever he wants to do, he just gets out and does it. One of the best communicators I've ever seen. He's a creator of things. He's always looking at the model, trying to make it better. Jess has really worked hard to make sure that uh, consumers get what they're looking for. He's brilliant. He's also a visionary. He understands the people. He understands the passion. He's demanding a lot and he's working hard. A man who, who knows how to listen. Jess was not only a vineyard, but he was a real vigneron. He was truly genuine and interested in the land. There are some special places that you just want to be and live in. Those places along the coastal maritime, cool mountains and hills of the California coast. I uh, am at peace and spiritually satisfied when I'm in the mountains and hills and benches of California. The land gives us what we need. It gives us our shelter, our food, our clean air, all of the uh, things that uh, man needs to survive, including the spiritual side. We were always farmers and something else. And we were teachers, doctors, lawyers, merchants. Sometimes the farming was raising cattle. Uh, sometimes it was just raising corn. My grandfather, when I was six years old, had me hoeing corn in his farm where he retired in Colorado after teaching in Texas his entire life. That taught me a love of the soil. He was teaching me what he loved and transferred that love to me. A handful of dirt meant something to me after that. My grandmother on my mother's side taught me how to milk a cow, how to ride a horse, how to shoot a pistol. She taught me the things of survival, everyday occurrences in the life of our ancestors. I was lucky enough for my grandparents to teach me those things. And that background of farming and background of awareness of California, hiking through the Sierras, going up the Trinity Alps, driving through the, the vineyards of California, attaching myself to the land with no particular intent or awareness that I was migrating back to farming. After a career in law and several other careers, I decided that if I was going to raise a family with my beautiful wife, Barbara, we should be back on the farm. That's where I felt the children could learn and their children could learn the same ethic about preserving and conserving land and the beauty of the land could be taught. So we moved to the place I loved the most, which was Sonoma from San Francisco. Dad was a, a Jackson of all trades. He could do a lot of different things very, very well. His drive and enthusiasm taught me a lot about how to achieve goals on my own. He takes care of people. One of his strong points is <laughs> taking charge of a situation and making things happen. He loves the challenge. It's funny, people will say, you know, oh, you're, you're like a workaholic. He goes, it's not work to me. It's not like I'm working. This is what I love to do. To Jess, the family is very important. He's always said that he wants a wine company that lasts as long as the Antonori Wine Company. Quiet, intense, concentrated, opinionated, passionate. He cares very much about each person having integrity and being able to pursue what they care about. He's given us so many opportunities to become better people and to 
do really wonderful things that not that many people have the chance to do. I see my sister and the fishing guide start running and clapping their hands in his direction and he had his back turned to a huge grizzly bear coming out of the bushes. He was so focused on fishing. He teaches by example. One of the great things about him is how genuinely interested he is in trying to help people discover their own passions. You see how the brown is dark and, and spotty on that mare? She's in top condition. That tells you that she's really healthy. She's in top shape. Hi, guy. What do you think? Huh? Huh? You like it here? Mine is a vision, I hope, of the 100 or 200 year threshold. We can't just be thinking about today. The entire universe is moving. The entire culture is changing. Change is constant. It's the one thing that you can count on. Every generation challenges what's gone before. We have a basic obligation to the next generation to provide a platform for learning, for experimenting, for being optimistic about change, and to accept challenges and find a better way. <laughs>